Chapter 1 What is an island? An island is a piece of land with water all around it. There are many different types of island. Where are islands? Less than 30% of Earth's surface is land. There are seven continents and thousands of islands. Some islands are in the middle of an ocean, and others are near the mainland. Many islands are so small that you can't see them on this map. How do islands form? Islands can form in a lot of different ways. Some islands formed a long time ago. About 20,000 years ago, Earth was very, very cold. Lots of water from the oceans froze into ice, and the sea level went down everywhere. Later, Earth became warmer, and a lot of the ice melted, and the sea level went up. Places that were valleys and mountains 20,000 years ago became seas and islands. Sometimes, land can move away from the mainland to form an island. It takes thousands of years for islands to form in this way. Volcanoes under the ocean erupt, and the lava can form volcanic islands. In 2009, a new volcanic island formed in the Pacific Ocean, near Tonga. Sometimes, waves move the sand at the bottom of the ocean to form islands. In warm oceans, coral grows to form coral islands. Another way is when rivers carry rainwater with small pieces of soil, rocks, and plants. When the water in a river goes slowly, these things in the water fall to the bottom, and they can build up and form islands in the river. The Mekong River in Asia has a lot of islands that are made in this way. Amazing Species The animals and plants on some islands grow in different ways from the species on the mainland. Some species live on only one island, and nowhere else on Earth. Hispaniolan Selenodons live on one island called Hispaniola in the Caribbean Sea. Selenodons are about 50 centimeters long. They have a long nose, and they are the only mammal with poison in their teeth. They use their nose and teeth to hunt insects and other small animals. Hispaniolan Selenodons lived at the time of the dinosaurs, 65 million years ago. The Selenodons are now in danger because people are cutting down the forests where they live, and dogs are hunting them too. If we don't protect them, the last Selenodons will die, and the species will become extinct.